about whether or not the coronavirus was deliberately made in the lab or was actually um, came from nature out of and jumped in a wet market in Wuhan, China from an animal to a human and then mutated and went into human-to-human -human transmission. And that entire argument is meant to distract you from what the truth is. And the truth is, is that the Chinese Communist Party covered up the spread of the virus. They covered up the fact that they knew, they knew there was human-to-human -human transmission. In fact, they took tissue samples from, from some of the early people that were infected by the coronavirus. They knew what was going on. And yet, if you look, go back to the CDC announcements with regard to how dangerous they thought this virus was, they kept saying they didn't think it was that dangerous. And the reason was because the Chinese Communist Party wasn't being forthright. They weren't being transparent. And that's because they tried to protect their own image. The truth of the matter is they knew. And they hid it from us. And if we pay attention to that, then we know that with 100% certainty, the Chinese Communist Party is the cause of this global pandemic. It is literally the first global pandemic that's been caused by a political organization. And they should be held to account. And one of the ways they should be held to account is by making them pay reparations to the people that have been harmed, to the people that have, been, that have died because of the virus. They should have sanctions put against them. They should have their assets here in the United States confiscated. But more importantly, we should re reshore manufacturing in the United States, invest in our own country, and make sure this never happens again. Make sure that our frontline uh, people who are defending our nation from a virus don't have to rely on the Chinese Communist Party for their personal protective equipment.